500 SL, six liter, straight from Japan. But you gotta have 117, please, guys. Keep it healthy. Take care of your motors, man. These things can last forever. First ride out, amazing. Another one of the Ali Ehli classic. Here it is, Rabbit 3.6, straight from Abu Dhabi. All the models, the years. That's the way it's supposed to sound properly. Pulling up right now, another glorious day in Boca Raton. Pulling out another special car, this time straight from Canada, 500 SL 6.0 R129 from Japan. Let's go. All things hip. That was a doing of the Biggie Smalls car for this guy. Oh, yeah. shit. That's a dope car. Yeah, man. Dope. Oh, my guys, yeah. Toronto, and I mean, all my Canadians, I mean, shout out to all my Canadians with the dope benzes out there. We're hunting them down. Canada. Perfect timing. I got my little brother here. He's been doing squats and whatnot, deadlifting, so I'm gonna get him to push the car while I get my shine off. <laughs> we pulled this one out in the middle of the winter, in the middle of the storm, but it made it. Um, the car's not running, so they're gonna have to push it out. It is what it is. We deal with this type of thing, but it still is. 500 SL, six liter, straight from Japan. I don't really look for cars that much anymore, but they get brought to me, they get sent to me. This one was actually found by Anthony, our guy Anthony. He's actually in Germany right now. And uh, he worked out the deal. I didn't know how rough it was, but here it is with a duct tape light and uh, a cracked bumper. Oh, I got you. Look at that. Bone dry. Bone dry. Harvesting fluid, guys. It happens, man. It happens to the best of them. Let's see the oil. The oil is dark, black. Doesn't look right. But at least there's oil in it. It's not bone dry. I'm going to try to put the jump pack on it and get this window rolled up. And then uh, my guys can take care of it when they get here. Shout out to all my people. Two Koenig on the channel. First Gen 2 Koenig SEC. We got the collection straight from Japan. Quad pipes, generation two body kit straight from Koenig Special. So uh, we never driven the car yet. I've never driven the car yet. So I figured I'd do the first drive on the channel with you guys to experience it together. Okay, let's see if it starts. I'm not sure if the battery's good. It sat for a while since we had it. A little bit of a sagging headliner right here. Typical for 126s. Battery looks good. Looks like I have no gas, so um, I'm gonna fire it up, but we have to go straight to the gas station if it does start. Sounds good. These guys are very thorough, they know what they're doing. They know how to tune these cars. So most of the time these cars, when they come right, they come perfect from Japan. The only complaint I have about the car really is the, the headliner is kind of sagging and drooping. It's kind of uh, a normal thing that happens on these 126s. But you know, it is what it is. We got nice wood on the panels here, nice wood doors and the Koenig Special cluster. So yeah, man, can't complain, beautiful build. Let's take it out on a little more cruising back to the showroom so you guys can see uh, the Koenig in action. Five point six. This is incredible, man. When it's right, you got so much power. It's so silky smooth. A lot of torque. It sounds amazing. It feels incredible, man. So if you gotta add one seventeen, please, guys. Keep it healthy. Take care of your motors, man. These things can last forever. One of the most robust motors ever built. First ride out, amazing. 10 out of 10. Gen 2 Koenig, Japan boys. First drive, 
very, very nice, very beautiful motor. Incredible, incredible uh, body kit. Never seen before on these streets. Gen 2, very smooth. I love it. Shout out to my Japanese people, man. Looking for more Gen 2s. If you see it, send it to the boy. Let's go. Last episode, you saw the two cars arrive from Abu Dhabi. We had the right-hand drive uh, 123 limo, AMG limo, and we had the right-hand drive C126. Both had rotted tires. The cars have been sitting in the desert. So we got my guy right here to come switch out the tires. Brand new tires going on right now. Two sets for two special cars. Fresh tires, we're gonna be on the road. We're gonna be rolling. Let's go. like that guys we're back fresh fresh tires car sitting right finally couldn't stand the side of them like that just collapsed i mean so 126 sitting good 123 limo sitting beautiful another day let's go what's up guys welcome back to the channel um, just chilling, came back from the beach in the red 560 SL. Uh, just heard there's a Brabus engine being delivered to uh, the overflow, so let's go check it out. So this is the motor, the Brabus 3.6 motor that was supposed to go into the Koenig 190E build that we did with Zibi. Uh, I got this motor actually uh, flown in on a plane from Abu Dhabi all the way to Zibi. Got it like emergency freighted to him because he needed it fast and then ended up, the motor was actually seized. It was sitting in the desert for a long time. Another one of the Ali Ehli classes. Here it is, Brabus 3.6, straight from Abu Dhabi. Manny, we call him here in the streets. He just, <laughs> he just uh, delivered the Brabus engine to us. Thank you, my brother. And we might put another car on the way up. Let's see, he's a the collective. Let's go. <laughs> you said we went up? So basically I just washed it down. This one was being used over the week, the last couple weeks while uh, his brother and his parents were here. So they were out enjoying the time. So I just came back and I cleaned it up, got it right. And right now I'm just gonna blow some of the leaves off of this limo that's been sitting here. special package arrived to the kingdom another special book you know this literature is very important just as important as these cars let's see what we got over here man. a well packaged a Maybach book so this book here is all about the history of the Maybach the original Maybach and then obviously the, the legendary W240 as they call it so very legendary book um, I'm trying to pick up more literature on the Maybox. What a legendary car, man. One of the nicest profiles ever. One of the nicest silhouettes of any Mercedes. And I really believe, uh, and Daniel agrees with me on this, that this was uh, Mercedes Magnus Opus. It was their greatest work, I believe. The W240 Maybach was probably their best work. And after that, everything kind of lost quality. Even the newest Maybox are just an S-Class with a Maybach package. This is a Maybach. Cool book, gonna keep it nearby. Another one to add to the, to the library, the Patina Collective Library that will be actually inside the museum. We're trying to create a little library section with all this special literature for you guys. Another package coming in. Um, shout out to all my people around the world. Put that special stuff on eBay still. These cars are special, they're rare, and the literature is special and rare too, guys. So make sure you keep your eyes open and peel. When you're on eBay, on Japanese eBay, all types of eBay, because you're gonna find some special stuff. I don't even know what this is, because I just buy stuff and then they all come in. So let's find out together what we got here. Oh, this is special, guys. So this is the 100 year anniversary of Mercedes. And they made this right here, which is a special issue. All right, this is vintage, guys. Gotta be careful with this. 100th year anniversary of Mercedes. And when you open it up, guys, look, look at this. What I like the most about this one 
my memory serves me correctly, it was this right here. So uh, all the models, the years, the specs, little spec sheet on the bottom of each model. This is uh, the creators of Mercedes, you know? Especially this guy right here, last name Benz, like Spraga. You know what, I, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, so. Yeah, man. Mercedes, legendary brand. Look at these, look at these emblems, like, incredible. All original. Love it. All right, guys, stay tuned. We never stop it. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. This car right here has been sitting for a long time. Carrot 6.0, very special build. You guys already heard about it. This has the M117 six liter engine with a full carrot interior and a very, very special, uh, very rare burgundy paint. So this car has been sitting for years and years and years. It hasn't been running. It actually has a warning inside that says, do not start the engine. And we've been pushing it around since we got it. As you can look at the body right here, you can see a bunch of damage on the car. Um, just rock chips and stuff. And then we got cracking in the paint and we got uh, other things of that nature. So first first things first, we gotta send it to Pierre in Titusville. He's gonna take care of it. He's gonna get it back running, get it back to life. And once it's back running and healthy and powerful again, like a six liter supposed to be, we're going to send it to Robert to get it painted after he does the blue wide body. That's the plan. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna get it picked up right now. It's the biggest ever do it. Patina Collective. So this car, guys, uh, was originally in Japan. Um, it was bought at an auction, I believe, and it made its way into Europe. Our guy Igor had it in his possession and he uh, sold it to us. He actually regrets selling it to us to this day, and I understand, um, this car is very special. And when Pierre came to see it, Pierre, who's like an aficionado in these cars and knows everything about these cars, he said, well, if you're looking for the rarest 6.0 wide body in the world, you found it. It's a real carrot. It's real burgundy, it's a real six liter, it's a real wide body, and it's all from AMG, so it is what it is. Japan always had these wild builds, you know, and if you guys look inside with me right here, see this amplifier right here, which is a carrot, just a wild uh, period correct amplifier. Um, it's weird stuff, so kind of love it, guys. Can't wait to get this car back in running condition and drive it and show it off to the world. It's one of the most rarest cars, and we're proud to have it here in the collection. I mean, SL74 is very, very special. We never spoke about it. We just did a whole rent tech thing, so maybe just don't know. And then add that on as we're building in the uh, C74. It's very, That's very a special. It's a very special car. No, I mean, and then do a video around then, you know? Okay, so I'll do something different. Put it up. Honestly, the best thing to do next, I think, would be the Gimbala. We never spoke about Gimbala. Gimbala's ill. We never talk about Gimbala on the channel. Yeah. That's a good way to do it. Gimbala would be great. So let's just do that. Gimbala right there, it's accessible. And we won't do the full out one, we'll do that one as a tease. Like next video, we're gonna do the. We show you the big boy. We say we say we have three very special gimbals yeah. in the collection. This is one of them. We just got word that the driver is actually late. We don't have time to wait for him. Uh, we got to go shoot a Bravis 7.3 S video for you guys. So uh, we'll be back later today to get the, the loading of this car. But for now, we gotta go. So. Uh, we'll talk soon and we'll be back on the channel and we'll see what happens. Alright guys, another special package. Oh, here it is. The AMG E36 model car. This one too is pretty heavy. So, Hot Wheels, shout out to Hot Wheels. They're bringing back all the cars and we're going to make them make a lot more cars when they see what we got going on over here. So shout out to my guys collecting model cars. Shout out to my guy Currency. He's always showing his model car collection on his uh, Instagram. So we're going to be doing the same thing over here. Shout out to my guys all around the world with the real cars and the model cars. Let's go. I've never driven this car and Daniel hasn't driven this car. Right? I drove this for a little bit. Okay, you did? I drove it for a little bit too, it doesn't count. This is not like a real drive. drive. So this is, I drove this one and I haven't driven this one. Daniel hasn't driven either. So today's gonna be basically our first drive for basically both cars. 
Um, they won't drive amazingly, guys. These cars came out of the, the desert in the Middle East, so they still need a couple things. We're just doing like a raw video today. This one has uh, dry spots on the tires from sitting, so it's a little bumpy when you get over a certain uh, amount of miles, but it is what it is. We want to do this video for you guys, and we know you guys don't want to wait anymore, so we're going to shoot the 7.3S video right now and do the cold start on this one. I know it hasn't been started in a while. Started, even The, the typical startup sounds a little different. We're gonna hear it on the next one, but just as I think the battery is just so dead on this car and it's been sitting forever, but uh, we're gonna get it right, guys. That's what it's about. The Pina Collective, we're rescuing these cars and we're showing you what the process is when you rescue these cars. We're not just gonna show you the car finished, we're gonna show you the process. So let's go. Today, we just finished shooting the two Brabus 7.3S's uh, special video for you guys coming soon. Now I gotta go back to the stadium and take care of that carrot 6.0 delivery. Make sure it gets to our guy Pierre. Another day in Boca Raton, another day in the kingdom. Thank you for tuning in to the Patina Collection. Guys, there it is, the Karat 6.0 wide body, finally loaded up and on its way to go see Pierre and finally get running for the first time since we've been at the Potato Collective. Let's go.